Hey, I'm Ken Reed. Time for a little hockey card history. This time around, we're taking a look at my favorite helmets on hockey cards. Top 10 best hockey card helmets. Remember, these are cards from my collection. You may be thinking, there's a bucket out there. I just love, you didn't show it. Probably because I don't have it in my collection, but contribute away. Headphone adjustment. Off we go. Number 10. You have to have the Wayne Gretzky Jofa in. The Gretzky Jofa, it is so iconic. He wore it, well, for his entire Edmonton Oilers career. This is a fact. Gretzky did not start wearing the Gretzky Jofa until he got to Edmonton. He had a bucket on. He didn't like it. Saying, I don't like this. One of his teammates said, hey, try this thing on. It's the closest thing you've ever had to not wearing a helmet, and that is true. If you've never seen a Gretzky Jofa, this is it. I mean, I have one. I wear it in beer league. A piece of cork. That's a piece of cork. That's the only protection Wayne Gretzky played with throughout his NHL career. Was never seriously injured as far as the noggin went. And little pads right there. But that's it for the Gretzky Jofa. Not much to it, but an iconic bucket nonetheless. Okay, number nine. Absolutely love this card. It's an 88-89 OPG box bottom card. Shows off the sweet helmet of Denny Savard. The Canadian helmet. I don't mean Montreal Canadian. I mean Canadian. The old stick company, they got into the hockey helmet business for a bit. This is an absolute bucket that Denny Savard rocked. Now, Denny, he had the Gretzky Jofa for a while. He had the SK for a while. But with this helmet, he scored what I would have to say is the best goal of his NHL career. Not the black helmet, but the white version of this helmet. It was a goal against the Edmonton Oilers. He went through basically everyone. Did it with this fantastic-looking bucket. And his celly at the end, it was epic. Love that Denny Savard helmet. A true bucket. Okay, number eight. You're talking iconic helmets. You have to talk about this one. And what a beauty close-up on the 92-93 Upper Deck card of Marc Messier. That is the Winwell. The vintage Marc Messier Winwell. It looks like the thing was loaded onto his head. Wherever Marc Messier went, the Winwell went. He won cups with the Oilers with the Winwell. He won his cup in 94 with the Rangers with the Winwell. When you talk about the look of Marc Messier, you have to talk about the Winwell. And it's just captured beautifully on this nice upper deck hockey card. Okay, now we're going to get a little funkier as we get into our countdown a little further. We're talking my number seven favorite hockey helmet on a hockey card, Don Nackbar. Don Nackbar, snack bar is what they called him. Look at that helmet. Absolutely epic. Now, it's a CCM with a mask welded on. When you're a kid, well, these days as well, you never see a helmet on a hockey card. But back when you opened a pack in 81, 82, Okichi, Donnie Nackbar's Hartford Whalers card, he had this helmet iTech cage creation on. The reason he had it on, he was in a scrap the game before against the Boston Bruins. He didn't exactly win it. Uh, so the next game, they're in Washington, and he has this bucket on with this cage and he's praying please don't let it be hockey card day please don't let it be hockey card day it was hockey card picture day the only game that donnie nakbar wore that cage slash helmet for was this one and it was captured in hockey card greatness forever okay we're at number six he knew this one was coming it had to be in there this is the 1990 91 upper deck card of peter klima peter klima epic bucket the thing went everywhere with klima and trust me it is a bucket there it is i kind of collect hockey helmets too in case you can't tell so klima he's known for two things scoring a triple overtime against the boston bruins in game one of the 1990 final longest stanley cup game ever and for this bucket and for maybe his multicolored tape job on occasion but this thing as opposed to the gretzky jofa this thing is like a cadillac i mean look at the padding inside that thing it's beautiful. Looks good on your head. Looks good on a hockey card as well. Now, maybe a helmet that doesn't look all that good on your head. Craig Ramsey, he sported some wicked helmets in his day. He's going to make two appearances in this little countdown. This is his first at number five. Craig Ramsey with the Cooper, and I want to get the name right, the Cooper SK300. What a bucket. Look at the padding in that thing. That is old school, right from the 70s. Beauty padding in the SK300. If you're a little younger and you don't remember Craig Ramsey on the ice, well, he played over 1,000 games, all with the Buffalo Sabres. But you may know this helmet because, well, 
it's part of Canadian, what would I call folklore now? Because Bubbles wears the Cooper SK300 when he drives his go-kart in Trailer Park Boys. So a little Bubbles, a little Craig Ramsey, making its way into hockey cards. I love it. Okay, number four, this is a beauty helmet. Billy Harris was the first ever player drafted by the New York Islanders. Spent his entire career with the Islanders until March of 1980 when he was traded to the LA Kings in a package for Butch Goring. Now, we all go wild over trade deadline day now because Butch Goring, he was the first deadline deal that made a difference. Goring put the Islanders over the top, led them to four straight Stanley Cups, but Billy Harris and his helmet went the other way. That is a fantastic helmet. So Harris didn't get to enjoy those Cups with the New York Islanders despite being the first player drafted in franchise history. Uh, he didn't wear a helmet for his first year. Switched to the Stan Makita Northland his second year, found it too heavy. Called up an old buddy who ran a sporting goods store in Maple Leaf Gardens and wore that three-piece Cooper helmet. That is epic. Epically awesome. Number three. I've seen this very helmet in person. In fact, I've touched it. I've even put it on my head. It is. Well, it's known as the Makita. It could be known as the pot van. For me, it's known as the Lanny. The Lanny McDonald Northland. I mean, look at that thing. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Lanny scored epic goals for the Colorado Rockies, for the Leafs. I think of that one in the, semi, in the quarterfinals against the, the Islanders. But, of course, when I think of Lanny and this helmet, and this is his 83-84 OPG highlights card, by the way, that shows off the helmet perfectly, I think of that final goal of Lanny's career in game six of the 1989 final when he beat Patrick Waugh for the, the final goal he ever scored. Lanny and his helmet in pure joy. Love it. Okay, this time we're going to Craig Ramsey and we're going to his 85 86 OPG, the number two helmet on a hockey card in my countdown. Craig Ramsey, one of few NHLers to rock the helmet of the future, the XL7. I absolutely love this bucket. I wore it for years. How good was the XL7? Back in the day, it had its own advertisement. Cooper XL7. Strong to provide ultimate protection. The liner molds to your head, giving you maximum comfort. A ventilation system designed to keep you cool with no excess weight to slow you down. It adjusts to size in seconds with the unique Cooper lock. The steel face guard attaches easily with a new clip system. The world plays hockey with Cooper. It was truly the helmet of the future. The XL7, it was like putting a couch on your head. It was so comfortable. I wore mine from about grade, I'd say six through grade 11. One size fits all. You just put the flaps out, adjust the size. It was a beauty helmet. No ear flaps for Craig Ramsey. So Craig Ramsey, two appearances in this countdown for the Cooper SK300 and the Cooper XL7. The Cooper XL7, the helmet of the future. All right. Number one helmet on a hockey card in our countdown. I know you know what it is. Of course you do. This is the 1980-81 Topps card of Butch Goring. Look at that gorgeous Snaps helmet. Now, kind of fitting, don't you think, that Billy Harris and his bucket were part of a trade for Butch Goring and his bucket? Goring first started wearing this helmet when he was just a kid. His dad bought him one in Winnipeg. He had two snaps helmets during his career, one for the home side, one for away. And he won four straight Stanley Cups with this helmet, traded the Islanders along with his bucket in March of 1980. He put the Isles over the top. In fact, he just had his number retired by the New York Islanders back in February. Butch Goring, that is a helmet. You can't even, you don't even set your watch to it. Every clock in the house you set to that helmet. That is old school. That is one beauty bucket. Those are my favorite helmets on hockey cards. What are yours? <laughs>